Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This video is on level 9. You may notice, immediately, that my tear timers all say 0 seconds. That's because these tears do actually spawn basically immediately. Uh, the first tear takes a couple of seconds, but I think that's something in the game that forces it. The other tears, if you turn off voice effects and stuff like that, they actually spawn as soon as you mend the previous tears. It is immediate. You'll also notice the tear timers are pretty short. This one has a minute. I want to say they're all a minute. They're all very short. This level's a fairly big pyramid uh, that you need to climb up. Uh, and so you mostly would want to rush this. However, luckily, we have skips up each layer of the pyramid. Uh, none of which are particularly difficult to perform. So, after mending the first tear, slide right back down here, down this ramp that goes underground, and go up the ramp, jump, and right here you're at the end of the first layer of the pyramid. And here's the second tear. That's all you have to do. Uh, after mending the second tear, there are a couple of ways to get up to the third tear. The easier one that I did for a long time is you turn around and try to jump over to that corner. You can even grab some health here if you need it. And then after jumping to the corner, you can hop up this ramp and be right up at the third tear. Uh, if you want to be a little bit faster though, very slightly faster, you can get a jump up this ramp this ramp right uh, that you took up to get to the second tear. You can just move backwards slightly and then strafe up this ramp and jump up to get to the third tear. So yeah, the tears spawn immediately, they have short fuses, but with these skips you, you don't really have to worry much about uh, getting to them in time. Now, sadly, I do not currently have a way to skip up to the top of the pyramid. I have looked. So we do need to go around this top layer. There are turrets around, but if you just hug the walls, you don't really need to fight them. You may fall down here a few times, though, uh, going for the keys, so it can be useful to just blast a few shots out. Now, before you go up to the top of the pyramid, there are four turrets up there. I recommend killing all of them, so you may want to grab an ammo pickup here. Uh, as... If you have the final blaster upgrade, you can one-shot these turrets with a charged shot. So what I do is I try to charge a shot, aim at the turret, if I don't kill it, I just mash shots at it, and once it's dead, I take the path out. Now, you'll notice I fell. That's gonna happen. That happens to the best of us. I'm actually gonna grab this health. That happens to the best of us. This is a really hard level. The platforming at the top of this level is very difficult. This is honestly some of the more difficult platforming in the game. Like I said, though, you can just do skips to get back up the pyramid pretty quickly. You don't have to go all the way around to get up every time. So just like that, we're already right back up here. There we go. So yeah, each of these four paths at the top of the pyramid has a key. Each of them has difficult platforming. Uh... Personally, I find the one that I'm on right now to be the hardest, which is why I usually go for it first. Also, it's just right across from the ramp to the top of the pyramid, so it just works out. Start charging a shot as you come back, and go straight across to the next one. If that shot misses, just mash a bunch of blaster shots at it. Uh, to get back across this one, I actually recommend ignoring the closest block and just jumping straight to the next one. If you struggle with that even, 
might not be a bad idea to jump to this block and then just run off the end instead of trying to do another jump. Because you are right at the top of the pyramid again right here. It's not very slow. But anyway, I thought I had more space there. Anyway, coming back up here, you did those jumps. I go left next. Take out the turret. Jump along the side here to get the keys. Make sure on these ramps you are strafe you are strafing up ramp as you jump. Just to give yourself that little bit of extra height. And before I take out this last turret, I'll mention something else. If you picked up the antivirus in level 8, you can use it here. I used it here for a while, so that I wouldn't have to throw shots at these turrets, since combat is a little difficult in this game. So if you want, you can use the antivirus to make them stop attacking you. But like I said in the level 8 tutorial, they're still in your way. They... It can happen that you'll try going, and they'll just go right in front of you and mess you up. Which is why, as you get better, you should probably just be taking them out with the blaster. Um, watch out when you get this key. Uh, after getting the last key, the vid window cutscene will start. And depending on where you are, that may be a problem in your platforming. If I got the key as I headed in, instead of... Like, if I got it now as I headed in, and then bumped back, I would probably get the vid window cutscene right about here. Which would make the jump to the end very difficult, and would require going all the way up around the pyramid again, so... Just be aware of when the vid window cutscene is going to happen, and adjust for it. Also, this vid window is a little weird. Uh, you can get really close to it without getting sucked in. So, just be aware of that. You may need to spin around it a little bit to really make it work. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask in the Discord.